Deputy Speaker, in August I had the pleasure of providing work experience for a 15-year-old Hobart Year 10 student named Hannah. During that time, I invited Hannah to write about an issue important to her, and this is what she had to say. I am a 15-year-old Tasmanian, and today I want to speak about how salmon farming in Macquarie Harbour is driving the Morgian skate close to extinction. A couple of months ago, I decided to ask Andrew whether I would be able to work in his office for work experience, which my school was organising, as I have always had an interest in politics and have a passion for helping others. During my time on work experience, I learned many things that altered my understanding and respect for politicians. I also had the fortunate opportunity to write this speech, and this topic is something me and many others feel needs to be heard. Salmon aquaculture in Tasmania has expanded quickly, with around 60 leases now across the state. Ten of these are in Macquarie Harbour, a closed-in area with a narrow exit to the ocean. Now, while previously there have been complaints about the environmental impacts of salmon aquaculture by the public, we have been kept in the dark. Only recently have the fatal conditions of Macquarie Harbour been revealed, showing its devastating impact on the Morgian skate. Salmon farming involves the release of fish waste and food into the harbour, resulting in a large reduction of oxygen in the water. This, decreases, uh, this decrease in the oxygen levels where the skate lives has led to their population decreasing by nearly half between 2014 and 2021. So although the Morgian skate, an ancient creature, has thrived in its environment since the age of the dinosaurs, the species is now on the verge of extinction. Indeed, scientists and researchers from Tasmania's Institute of Marine and Antarctic Studies have stated that salmon farming is the primary cause of the decline of the skate's population. However, minimal action has been taken by governments to prevent the inevitable extinction. The federal government has set a goal of zero extinctions, yet we are now only one extreme weather event away from the extinction of the skate, a ray found nowhere else in the world. Yes, there have been various attempts by scientists to reduce the skate's risk of extinction, including pumping oxygen into Macquarie Harbour. However, this is merely a temporary solution that will not bring the harbour back to its full state of health. So it's clear that unless governments take action to stop salmon farming in the harbour, the species will remain endangered and may even become extinct. And if the Tasmanian government won't listen to the scientists, then the federal government must step in. But despite a promise by Minister Plibersek to reconsider federal approvals for salmon farming in Macquarie Harbour last year, the federal government has still not taken any further action. IMAS has since established a breeding program to assist in saving the Morgian skate as a species. Yet, while this project has been promising, the head of the program has said it is early days and only one of many steps needed to save the species. There is overwhelming evidence that salmon farming is the key issue endangering the skates, and yet the government has not taken any action. Why? Maybe it's because we are prioritising the salmon industry, and we don't care enough about a species that does not necessarily impact us. But when has it ever been right for our actions as human beings with complex, intelligent minds to wipe out a species that has been around for millions of years, a species that existed long before we did and that has lived in Macquarie Harbour since long before we discovered it? Do we really have the right to ignorance, to turn a blind eye and watch as the Morgian skate becomes extinct? to in fact cause its extinction? Of course not. So please hear me now when I say that immediate political action is essential for the ancient Morgian skate to survive, and that if governments and the salmon industry refuse to act, they will only have themselves to blame. No wonder I now call on the minister to act in the interests of Tasmanians to save this dying species. So there you go, Speaker. I reckon Hannah nailed it and gave voice to a great many people those in the aquaculture industry who would deny that actually do the industry no favours and will ultimately be its downfall. Thank you, Speaker.